I shall write to the library committee. But one wisdom we needed to settle the argument. The notice is there, as plain as the nose on your face. Rule 43B, no volume to be removed from library under any circumstances except by arrangement. Nonetheless, removed it has been. Now what's to be done? Ah, well, that's where our own rules come in. You lose by default, therefore you owe me a large port. Come on, there's just time. I don't think so, Charters. I don't think so at all. What? I tell you, I can give you chapter and verse for that batting average. Chapter and verse, maybe. But first, find your volume. I shall. I have wisdom back at the flat, going back to the uh, dot, as you know. Surely you're not suggesting we traipse all the way to Viceroy Mansions on such a trivial matter called a cot. Trivial, Charters? Well, we do have prior commitments, old chap. I thought we'd agreed to see that film at the Empire, Lester Square. You really should try to be more adaptable, old chap, if you don't mind my saying so. After all, there is such a thing as the Odeon Kensington High Street. All we need now, of course, is to find that my Mrs. Duggins, what does, has given my 1979 wisdom to the jumble sale. It's precisely the kind of thing she's capable of. Oh, no. She hasn't. Oh, no, it's here right enough. It's that door yonder I'm puzzling over. When I went out this morning, I made a point of shutting it. Really? Why? Well, because otherwise it creaks on its hinges to the annoyance of... Does it matter why, Charters? The point is, who opened it? Your Mrs. Duggins, what does? Not her day. Call the call. There's a party in there. No, there isn't, old chap. I think you'll find there is, old chap. Stabbed. Dead as a doornail. This is five eight nine two nine oh two. Give me the police. Yes, my name is Caldicott. Flat 21, Viceroy Mansions. I want to report a murder. Mm -hmm. 